So here we are at the ice house at Jack Meads. And just give me a sense of the scale of it there. That's the cavity in the south, southern face inside of it to protect the inside wall and add to the insulation property of it. So it would have been the whole way down to the ground. I don't know the extent of it. Now, we're going to enter it here, but this is relatively newly made and this would have been solid wall when it was in operation. Just to give access and a view sense of it. So you can see it's cut stone. And that would have been the entrance in the past. There would have been attached roof, I think, all the way up there. And we could have had beans across and fish or other foodstuffs could have been suspended from it to keep it cool. Uh, but more than likely it was also, well, it certainly was also worked, the ice taken out to be chipped and flaked and to be spread over fish. This just gives another sense of the floor, of course, probably much lower down. And the most important fa feature of it would have been that there would have been a drain hole at the bottom so that any melt ice would have uh, melted away down through a bung or a, a drain hole and away off down into the stream I'm sure and of course the other important piece would have been to stop any rodents getting in to taint it or to do any more damage inside so that's it it's the ice house Jack Meads halfway house see up above that's where the access would have been on Kenny's property up above. Access from the passage road. Jack needs ice house.